What's going on everybody? Welcome to a brand new series. My name is Corey and we're going to be playing some uh, vanilla single player Minecraft for the first time in quite a while. I don't know if I've ever really uh, gotten into a single player series much before. So that's what we're going to start out with today. And I'm going to try to keep this fairly relaxed, fairly kicked back and try to be a little bit uh, just more of myself. Uh, something I've kind of struggled with a lot in previous series. So I've already got a little bit of a start just to kind of get familiar with the world. I'm actually going to be playing in the latest snapshots for the new 1.18 version of Minecraft. So right now we're playing on 21W38A, I believe is the snapshot that's currently uh, running. And I'm going to try to update this as we go uh, into the future as well. So uh, I'm just going to do a little bit of exploring around the world here, get a little bit of resources together, get a little bit more gear. I did get a shield and a pickaxe and just some, some real basic stuff going, but I just want to get a little bit more established. Actually, let's take go ahead and take out this sheep, and then uh, we'll get started on trying to do a few starter things. So uh, I want to maybe make some reference to a previous video that I made showing uh, five simple starter farms for Minecraft that are very helpful at the beginning so we might dive into a few of those and then i actually want to try and recreate my old irl house as one of my first uh, starter buildings which might not get to right away in the first episode we'll see how things go but that's going to be one of the first houses i want to build and there'll be all kinds of uh you know fun things in this series so i like to call myself the perfect combination of science and art so we'll definitely be doing some building and uh, exploring we'll be doing some redstone and some different contraptions some farms all kinds of different stuff we're going to try to explore a lot of the new beautiful terrain that is out here in the world of minecraft so hopefully you guys are excited i'm really glad that you are here joining me for this series let's dive into it Boom, we got ourselves a little bit of gear all set up here now. Uh, just did a little bit of caving, got some iron going. We got a fire here to cook up some fish. I've been trying to harvest a few fish out of the ocean there to get a little bit to eat. I went ahead and planted some wheat right over in this area here just to get some of that growing in case we need a little bit of that for food or uh, breeding up some animals and stuff. I'd like to try to stay we kind of got like this main island here at the spawn area and would like to try to breed up some of the sheep and stuff that are on here so that hopefully we get a little bit extra of those guys hanging around so that we don't um run too short on uh some of the basic supplies and stuff that i need so uh let's see i'm eating a little bit of dried kelp here as well because we got some of that cooking up just to kind of get us by for the beginning here so uh, I'm actually going to go back down. There is a wonderful underwater cavern here that I had started going into to get some of my iron and stuff like that. Here we go. We got a little, little secret hiding spot right here. So we'll peek into here and I want you guys to check out this incredible, amazing cave area here. This thing, uh, this new 1.18, you know, snapshot generation, this is kind of, uh, how it's going to be in the future, but look at how crazy these cave systems are, and they go on for days and days, man. You could spend, uh, a really long time exploring in these caves, so, uh, that's kind of what we're gonna do for a little bit here, just to get some more supplies, like I was saying. We want to get some more iron, and hopefully if we get lucky... We might be able to find a little bit of diamond down there uh, deep in the underbelly of the world here. But we're going to have to go pretty far down because uh, if you didn't already know, the entire generation of ores and the way all that stuff works has been completely changed in the new version of Minecraft. So, you know what? Uh, we're just going we're just going to full send right down into the bottom of this here, into the the deep slate area. I'm going to get a few torches placed on here. I brought quite a few with me to try to safen this place up a little bit, hopefully. Um, yeah, we already are getting shot at. I brought two shields, I think, so that uh, 
If one of them breaks, I have a backup. We got skeletons everywhere. Dropping from the sky. This place looks incredible. Oh, there's some redstone over there. Actually, that's something else I want. We got redstone over here. Redstone over there. Redstone everywhere. We got creepers. I'm excited. There's so much stuff going on, guys. So much stuff to see in these new... Uh, these new caves with the new ore generation are super fun to explore so far, so uh, I'm definitely excited to continue doing more of that as we, uh, you know, progress through this series. And I do plan to to kind of update right into the full release of 1.18 towards the end of the year. So hopefully you guys are excited for that as well. And if you're enjoying the series so far, make sure to uh, give the like button a tickle for me. That'd be super cool. Let me know how you're enjoying it if you're enjoying it if you're not enjoying it tell me why you're not enjoying it or maybe you're already gone if you're not i don't know i'm rambling now but we're gonna collect up a little bit of redstone here see what other kinds of goodies i can find and uh, if i find anything else exciting or dangerous i'll be sure to let you know man we got a whole freaking party going on down here what's up dudes we're all just gonna hang out a couple of buds here down in the cave having a good time excuse me sir thank you Oh boy. Get right, kid. Yeah, baby. Get them Ender Girl Pearls. Good news, everybody. I've made friends with Bernard here, and he's agreed to hang out and uh, help make me breakfast in the morning. So that's going to be awesome. We're going to have a nice, delicious breakfast here, thanks to Bernard. 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 What? How do you like to pronounce, you know, uh, Bernard? Okay, sounds good. So, yeah, he's going to hang out and uh, help us with uh, making some breakfast in the morning. So uh, let's just go ahead. I've got a couple of these things uh, hanging out here, and this should help out. We're gonna do that. A little bit of this. Oops, sorry, Bernard. Let me let me keep these out here so uh, you don't lose interest in what we've got going on here. And uh, real quick, I'm just going to make a couple of these, and then maybe a couple of those, and then we're gonna do like one of these and one of those, like that, and like this and then we're gonna do this like that and then yep you're gonna stay right there good job bernard you're doing great uh i didn't make enough uh hold on stay there bernard please mm -eh. like this and like this and like this and like this uh, i don't know that's kind of stupid it's all goofy. Uh, maybe that doesn't make any sense. Okay, perfect, Bernard. You're amazing, wonderful dude. Here you go. I'll even, I'll even give you a little snack. You're such a nice guy for uh, willing to hang out and help us uh, make breakfast in the morning. It's gonna be delicious. I'm excited. <laughs> Get out of here, sir. Okay, guys, so I've been out trying to do a little bit of diamond mining, and uh, so far it's been very unsuccessful. I'm having a really hard time finding diamonds with the new ore generation. Uh, I've tried a few different things, not really sure exactly where the best place to be looking really is. Hmm. Well, that uh, threw some little wrench in the game. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Luckily, you didn't get the bed. Holy cow. All right. Well, that... Um, wow. Okay. How's that for some explosive excitement in this episode here hanging out? Wowzers. Oh, man. Okay. Well, uh, I guess it's time to do a little bit of getting my crap back together here literally uh since we got stuff scattered all over the dang place what i was trying to say there before i was interrupted by surprise creeper mcgee here um i was doing a little bit of searching for diamonds trying a few different things because uh 
I've read that diamonds spawn, uh, you know, below Y level 16, but the lower you go, the better the chances of finding them are. So I did some mining down at uh, Y level minus 60, digging through the uh, deep slate, which is kind of a pain in the butt, and I uh, didn't really have any luck down there for about a couple pickaxes worth of digging. Um, did a little bit of digging at Y level 0 for a little while, a couple pickaxes there. Uh, did a little bit of digging at Y level 16, the old, uh, 11, sorry, the old, uh, the old standard. And uh, so far I haven't found any diamonds at all. But then uh, I came up through a little area over in this, um, this area here, down from below. I heard some noises over there. And actually there was a ocean monument right nearby. So I was hearing the guardian noises. And when I came up through there, I found a bunch of drowned temples. And that's where I got a hold of three different buried treasure maps. Now, I'm not sure if these are all different or if they're all the same. Uh, looks like they're probably all the same map. Uh, so we're going to try to do one of these right away and see if maybe that will help me get lucky with finding some diamonds. Uh, obviously, I got to get my inventory back in order here. I've got a whole mess of stuff going on. It looks like I got some a few taters from some zombies probably uh definitely going through a lot more torches trying to uh keep things lit up as i venture through the caves and whatnot so let's see i'm just gonna grab a couple of things here get my stuff back together and then we'll go out and try to find this uh treasure so we're gonna have to go looks like northeast there uh also i do have the uh, little pen going on here for uh, you know, uh, I already forgot the guy's name, Larry, whatever his name is. No, chicken, get in there. Yeah, stay in there. He can't get out of there, right? Um, no, Bernard. Yeah, that's the guy. Bernard, how could I forget my wonderful friend Bernard? Okay, so we got some chickens in there. I got a few sheep over here because, uh, I'm running really low on food and I haven't been able to spend that much time uh, down in the caves with uh, all the skeletons and the dark stuff, going through a lot of torches and a lot of food. There we go, get that guy wrecked. I just wanted to come over here real quick, plant these potatoes. I'm a little bit all over the place at the moment, but uh, we're gonna go on a little treasure hunt exploration and see if we can find any goodies. Uh, if we do find the buried treasure, we should at least be able to get a, well, we probably should make a bed before we go, right? Let's get this uh, shield in the area here. Not a bed, a boat. Boat is what I meant. We need a boat to travel across the water to get to the buried treasure. So let's do that and see where we end up.
Turtles, what's up, dudes? Don't mind if I do. Come on, you stupid grass. There we go. course it's going to be underwater why wouldn't it be underwater right i think we're kind of close am i kind of close is my map updating hello you gotta go further this way. There we go. Now we are on the map. Let's try to put myself right in the center of the X and start digging. Of course, I don't have a shovel. Dang it. Hey, found it. First try, let's go. Oh, diamonds, baby. Heart of the sea, some iron, TNT, fish, gold, crystals. Woo, all kinds of goodies. That was an awesome find. Super glad to have found the buried treasure chest there. That is pretty cool. Four diamonds, that will be super helpful because uh, yeah, like I said, so far, I've been having a really hard time finding diamonds with the new ore generation, so I don't know. I might have to do some more research or just spend a bunch more time trying to get them. Is that a ruined portal over there, too? It might be kind of cool. It's getting dark, though, so I should probably start to head back to somewhere with safety instead of being out in the middle of the ocean. So now that we're back from that little detoured adventure out into the ocean, that was pretty cool. We got a few extra goodies gathered up, which was awesome to see. Uh, got a little extra uh, diamonds and some, some basic resources to get us started with that kind of thing. And we now know that there is a uh, little ocean monument just off the way there. So definitely got a few things to check out coming up in the future. So if you guys are interested in hanging out and seeing more of that activity, Please do join me again for the next episode.